Hey guys, Stitchu22 here, and before we get our show of Heat started, I just want to make a few announcements, at least in terms of changes in personnel for the wrestling series, and before we begin that, I, I may as well uh, mention some of the departures. Uh, two people have left, uh, one of which wished to remain anonymous, and so it shall be. The other person that left was Midnight Radian, and behind the scenes, I've tried to, you know, get him to sign a new contract, or actually it was the board of directors, since uh, they have the authority in this particular case to, you know, sign him to a deal, and we couldn't get a deal done, and uh, not long after that, his contract expired, and he became a free agent, and he is free to go any other company that he wishes if he wants to get a contract that he wants. Uh, we tried to get him to sign a contract, actually. I mean, it wasn't so much the money that was the problem. We just couldn't get him to sign. That's pretty much it. But uh, nonetheless, I do wish him well. I mean, yeah, I have been enemies on screen with Midnight Radian, but nonetheless, uh, he does make a very, very good villain. And... You can't have a gr you, c you can't have heroes without villains, and he's a very good villain. And I'm pretty sure he'll make a great one in some other company, which I'm pretty sure he'll sign with uh, in the not so distant future. Okay, so now we now that we got those two preliminaries out of the way, now we have uh, the acquisitions. Now it just so happened that the first free agent signing, and as well as the second, actually. Uh, they came from a previous company, and I hate to say this, but I might as well compare that particular wrestling fed to that of WWE. Like, WWE, they sign stars, but they just can't make any of their own. Uh, that's pretty much the common thread lately. I mean, very rarely do they ever make new stars, and some of the stars they try to make, they either just bust or they're just... They're okay, but they're not great. Um, that being said, though, this particular company had two free agents. Well, now that they're now free agents, but uh, they just, in my estimation, they didn't really utilize them correctly. And I was lucky enough to get both of them. I mean, I was... To be fair, though, most of the other companies, their, their salary cap, or the, the salary, or what is it, the... The yeah, the salary cap hit all of them, or or what is it again? Oh right, the the salary cap hit its point on most, if not all, the other companies that could have signed them. That's because well, most of them have stolen my stars and made them their own. But then again, that's pretty much what free agency is all about. Nonetheless, my company is very good with making new stars or just taking existing stars and making them into superstars so uh but anyway we signed both uh free agents and just as that happened uh a trade was commenced within the company that would send tanuki teddy to the industry excuse me i had to clear my throat there to the industry is tanuki teddy all for the rights to one of the free agents. And as such, uh, it was approved, and Tanuki Teddy is uh, back with the industry, while the new free agent signing is going to join the Alliance. As for the other free agent signing, uh, due to the departure of Midnight Radian, uh, the Eliminators were able to get the contract of the other free agent that we signed. So that's practically what it is in a nutshell. I just wanted to let you know, let you guys know on uh, how that was going to work out. But nonetheless, now that we got that out of the way, uh, let's get on with our first match. And I just wish, or I just want to wish the fans and wish you guys, whoever you are, um, enjoy the show, and we'll be back in just a moment. All right, we'll see you for the first match. <laughs> 